my tubies welcome 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 it's me Sheila true love along with my book they have been selling like hotcakes I had to purchase some myself I got like three sets here I got them coming in I ordered them myself I have people go online I have them so a lot of people don't like the heart but paperback copy they like the electronic copy but they have been selling like hotcakes again the name of my book is best information before leaving earth answers that work you see my hair is tied up in a uh whatever um uh whatever uh anyway yeah she looks true love that's me there hanging out with you without my turban i got my hand rollers got a certain style you know i gotta lay it down and all that other crazy nonsense but anyway so tomorrow i could look like something so there you go she looks true love you can get it on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. I know it's been a minute. It's been like a whole week since we've been together. I haven't forgotten you. Not at all. I have been uh, busy uh, answering emails because as you know, I usually leave my phone number and my email address below. And when my empaths call, I like to be there to take those calls. And we sit and we talk and we have... Um, some really interesting conversations and we build each other up and I always make sure I'm a good listener always a good listener and yeah we talk and some of the uh, situations that I've encountered is a lot of my empaths are still going through it you know they are suffering and some of them are waiting for the hoovering where is this hoovering I'm like please count your blessings sweetheart count your blessings at the same time, I understand where they're coming from. Me, I didn't want no hoovering. I even got orders of protections to stop the hoovering. And the, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, please. I blocked everything. I made sure I blocked. I, I, you know, but everybody's different. You know? Um, uh, so, my empath was uh, talking about today. She said, am I wrong? Because I really want him to die. I want him dead. I was like, <laughs> well, uh, she's entitled to her feelings. I, I wouldn't go to those extremes where I want a person dead. But do I understand where she's coming from? Yeah, I do. She's been hurt, traumatized, abused, taken advantage of. It's understandable. You know, I just don't think it's a, a wise to go to those extremes to wish uh, death on someone. But I hear where you're coming from, girlfriend. I hear you. High five. Burp, there you go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, so good to be back here with you. I missed you so much. Anyway, darlings, I got me a nice new cute little gown today. I got four of them. I got them in pink. See, this is what you do. You don't sit up here and worry about no stupid old dumb-headed narcs. Go shopping. I bought myself, what, five of them. I got it in red, pink, black, and the most incredible royal blue for the queen that I am. And when I say queen, sweetie, I don't mean drag queen. <laughs> no so anyway we was talking which is why I've been away from you for a, a minute if you will I've been answering emails like I said and I've been talking on the phone and a lot of times um I, I don't understand why uh, some of the people call me during during work hours you know nine to five I work with sometimes I get off at eight you know uh, but normally they call me at like nine or they call me at 10 o'clock and I was like really are these people working you know it's always best to call me after six o'clock and on the weekend you have access to me uh yeah you could give it a shot on the weekend uh, you know sometimes I have my my women's group here uh it's not even a women's group anymore I opened it up to men and women and believe me the women are loving it so yeah she was telling me how he is a crystal meth person he went from smoking crack to crystal meth and I was like, yeah, that's, that's horrible because I experienced that drug situation. That's a losing game. You know, she has two of his children. She has moved like twice, two different times. This time he doesn't know where she is. She changed her phone number. So she's doing really good with that. But you know, she, um, you know, she, she, she has, she's, you know, battling with the loneliness and She's, you know, the, the oldest game that they usually play when they start, when you're in the beginning. 
they start with calling you a lot, calling, calling, calling. They call you like a hundred times a day, four, five, ten times a day, even though they're going to see you at home. That's like the oldest game in the book. Get you used to having them call, 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 and then when they don't call anymore, all of a sudden, you're supposed to miss them. No, no, not this girl. Because I used to tell my narc, do me a favor. If you don't have anything important to say to me, I don't see the point in you constantly calling me. Can you not do that? I really would appreciate if you don't do that. First of all, I work uh, with in the legal field. I don't have time to be sitting around here playing with these stupid calls. I just want to hear your voice. You don't really have much to talk about of, of, of serious nature. Do not call me again. A lot of times, I just let it go into voicemail. I ignored it. Of course, you got pissed off half the time. Ask me if I cared. No, because I already asked you not to do that. Are we uh, functional here? Are we retarded or what? So I just ignored it because I know that game. Anyway, so she's at that point where she says, you know, she's used to the phone ringing like a hundred times and now all of a sudden it's nothing. So of course she has to make some adjustments and you know me, I recommend that she go in her play store on her phone. She has an Android. I told her to get the app meetup because with meetup, she was like, really, what is that? I said, it's not a dating thing. It's not for dating. It's for you. You always have somebody to do things with things that you're interested in. And she was so excited to hear that. And I know she went to get uh, uh, the app. I think she, uh, where she's located, I'm sure they got a lot popping off over there. Anyway, I just had to make this quick video. And I was also talking to someone uh, regarding what is the fate of the narcissist when they get old. Normally they commit suicide. <laughs> they either commit suicide or they constantly wish they were dead. Their brain starts to, uh... Excuse me, there is a message for you. Okay, I got that. That's another one of my messages. See why I've been busy. And that's... Oh, she's amazing. This this one here, she is amazing. She sings. She sings like... Well, I told her, girl, please. She's, she's, she sent me a picture of her, too. She's beautiful. Heck yeah, she looks like a model. Della, I'm gonna say your name, girl, because she's hot. She's beautiful. Scale of 1 to 10, she's a 12. She got a voice like... Think Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston put together, only she sings jazz. She's like a Sade type girl, only better. She's amazing. I told her, man. She's, she's, she's mind-blowing. Anyway, so with the uh, Meetup app, like I said, you know, you just go and download that app and you follow the instructions and list all the things you're interested in kayaking like you know get in the water do the boat stuff you like going to the movies they got groups for that they have so many things everything i use meetup to start my own personal group here in my home the convenience of my home and i have met so many people i mean i have people I, I, I can only fit maybe 10 people. I have 39 people on the waiting list. 39 people on my waiting list when it comes to my group. My It's it's um for depression, anxiety. Uh, you're sick and tired of uh, feeling like you're alone. Honey, please. That group, it, it just overflowed. You can even start your own group. You can start your own group. So you don't have to put up with... And, and me, I like being alone. You know, normally my time when I like to say do things is like Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, those are the days that I really like to be up and about going and partying or doing whatever the heck I do. Sunday, that's the day for God. That's the day that I usually go to church. Uh, I try to cook on Saturday, so I don't have to cook on Sunday. I cook enough for two days. I cook everything fresh. On Saturday, everything, nothing's processed. Everything is fresh, good, healthy food. And then on Sunday, it's my rest day. That's the day for God. I uh, um, I do my ministry work Monday through Friday because on my lunchtime, I write letters to encourage people all over the world. And I send that out for like an hour. I use my lunchtime for that. I usually do, what, 20 to 24 hours in the ministry a, a, a month. So I'm touching bases with as many people as I can to lift them up, not only this way, you know, but also spiritually. See, there's so many things you can do. As you see, I write books. I started my own meetup group. I work a job, which at times I sometimes get off late. I have my roommate here who is amazing. She's another one who's, oh, she's just, oh. 
Sometimes we watch movies together, we laugh, we talk, we giggle, we cook, we eat. You know, it's, it's super. So you don't have to be alone. You really don't. You know, I'm glad that she moved. I'm glad that she didn't block him. She just changed her whole complete phone number, which is a bravo. Right? Right, empaths? Bravo. Good for her. The more you go no contact, the better. The longer you stay with this person, the more drained you're going to be. The more you're going to see yourself um, being exhausted. The more they're going to suck the living life. <laughs> you know, I did a video on this sucking the life out of you, man. It's hysterical. Yeah. So, you know, you, you'll be okay. Don't forget, do not isolate. That's the worst thing that you can do. Isolation. No, that's not good. I assure you. On this, she said that he has sent her a picture of him with some other woman with some tight skirt and whatever the hell. And she said that hurt her. I said, I'm sorry. You know, I'm so sorry to hear that. Because if I saw my narc with some other person, I wouldn't give a rat's behind. If anything, I feel sorry for her because I already know what she's getting. He's cheap. He's stingy. He's not good looking on the outside, ugly on the outside and the inside. That's horrible. You know, but she said her narc, he's really hot looking. She said he's like a model. He, he's the best looking guy she's ever seen. So that must, that could be a little hard, baby, if you're like that. I'm not a shallow person. I say she's shallow. I don't care about looks. I never have. I care about uh, brains. I like brains, intellect. I thought my narc had potential because he didn't, when I met him, he didn't have much going, but I thought he had potential if somebody would work with him. The more you work with him, the more you can help him. And trust me, me, my family and everybody, oh, we made a difference with him. He's probably back to being a, a whatever, smoking crack. His brain cells are all fried up again. So I know that's a mess. That's a hot mess. Trying to have a conversation, can't hold a decent conversation. That's ridiculous. 60 years old. May, he's going to be 60, the big 6 old. This is when it's time to almost reap. Mm -hmm. Not that I wish harm for anyone. At the same time, there have got to be consequences for the poor behavior that these narcs display. And the way they treat people, not acceptable. No, it's not. And like the Bible says, God could do all things except for one thing. And that's to tell a lie. And when God said, you go going to reap what you sow. You can trust and believe, baby. They're going to reap what they sow. Big. And once they fall, they're not going to have God to help them pull, get them back up. You believe that. So, keep yourself busy. Try your best not to isolate. Uh, start some hobbies. Do a collage. I made a nice collage at my job. I make cut out things the way I want my life to look. You know, you cut out pictures from magazines. You get these magazines, you get a nice wood uh, backboard of car cardboard. And you cut out the pictures, you put the glue and you put it on there and make a nice collage. I cut out everything that this is the way I want my life to look. And I brought, took it and I brought it to my job and I got it in the back in my office because I have my own office and I put it um, in the back. <laughs> So that's very, very good, you know? So anyway, my darlings, I just had to make this quick video to you, letting you know that I haven't forgotten you. I'm just busy answering calls and answering the emails. And I do love you so much with the highest of agape love that you could imagine. And you're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. It gets easier and easier and easier. Trust and believe. You always have a choice. This is Sheila True Love. And I truly do love you. Goodbye for now.